Hello, Kevin. Ken Taylor here uh, with your second video. Uh, this video is uh, going to be a couple of um, couple of drills, and I have a I have a whole slew of drills for you to do. But I think I'd like to just focus on just a couple, just really kind of running form. And then if we want to in the future, we can get into uh, the cross backs, moving backwards and backpedaling and turning and doing those things. And actually, it's all pretty easy, uh, meaning that if you put your foot in the right spot, it pretty much works. If you put your foot in the wrong spot, eh, it's hard to move. Just like it's hard to kick a ball. If you put your foot in the wrong spot, can't kick the soccer ball. Sorry, just doesn't work that way. So a lot of the mistakes that that athletes make is not effort, it's not working hard, it's just organizing the body in the wrong spot, sometimes at the wrong time. And so in looking at your video, you're, you're not far off, I'm looking at you run forward here, and very quick feet. Now you can see how you lean to the side, right there you're leaning to the right, leaning, leaning off to the right, you can see how you're right hand is off to the right see how that left arm comes across the body okay so if I back this up you can see how your arm see how that right arm is across the body okay and then your right arm goes out to the side so for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction when the hand comes across the chest when you're running the elbow tends to point outside and you tend to get a cross action going which contributes to your body swinging straight ahead swinging side to side instead of going straight ahead and one of the things we want to do when we're running straight ahead especially is just organize the body so that well everything goes in a straight line okay so you can see your left arm here how wide it is how far it is away from your shoulder the line of your shoulder your hand should be about right there at the end of that red arrow okay I guess I could have done it on a bigger screen, but now you can see it. Okay, see how far that hand is away from the line of the shoulder? Should be straight down here. Uh, let me draw another line. This is kind of fun. So your hand should be almost in line with that hip. Your elbow and hand should almost be in line with that, uh, with the shoulder. Okay, so moving on. Well, you can really see it here. See how your knee comes across? So what happens first? Is it that your left leg comes across the midline of your body? Or is it that midline of your body is like right here? Or is it that your right hand comes across? Well, the body is made to work uh, in opposites for balance. Okay, so you can see how far your right hand is across your body. Okay, so here's a couple drills. So this is a quick drill. This is for being on the balls of your feet and getting quick. This is just a half hiney running action. The idea is to do this really, really quick. Feel the bounce and keep the feet under your hips. And for you, the big thing is stay relaxed, stay calm, and keep the hands on each side of its body. Okay, float forward at about one mile an hour and do for about five yards. Okay, and then walk back and do, do that again. Don't do this for 50 yards. You'll get tired. Okay, and you should feel yourself getting off the earth. See how he's off the earth each time. Okay, now this one is kind of... Uh, this one's fun. This one's uh, interesting, kind of difficult to do. What you're going to do is a short hop first, then into the half high knee running action that you saw, and then right into a build-up sprint. Okay, so watch how he just bounces nice and easy, very calm from the chest up, and he starts the half high knees, nice slow action, and then that bounces right into a half high knee running action. What that does is that as you build up your speed into the running part, into the build-up sprint, your body is already used to bouncing, and your hands are used to staying on the same side okay and because it's easy to do you should be nice and calm when you do it okay and then start off slow with this only about up to about 60 percent of your full speed and then slowly as you get better with it build up to 70 80 and then 90 percent speed but you don't have to do this drill at 100 percent effort in order to get faster 
okay, your body will compensate for it and it will naturally get faster. We don't know how much faster, that just depends on your genetics, but it will get faster than what you are now. Okay, and then what we want you to do is kind of a every five yards. Now I have Abe here because most because I showed this to you before. So when he takes off here, he kind of takes off and goes like, oh, I don't know, he goes like 25% speed, and then with the red cones there that we had him set up, so we had him go kind of a fast, well, kind of a medium speed, and then in between the cones kind of slow, and then build up sprint. Okay, and that was to keep him calm, to keep him bouncing, and to keep him focused. So he just relaxes and then gets back into it. I'd like for you to do a drill that some people call it an in and an out. So every five yards, or every ten yards, probably every five yards, you can do this drill and the first five yards you can take off at 50% speed, the next five go down to 25, next five up to 50, okay, and so on. Okay, and then when you get good, kick it up to 50% for five yards and then 75% speed for 10 yards and you teach yourself how to slow down and pick up speed without stress or strain. And of course that's what soccer is about, changing speeds all the time. And then just really study Abe here. Look how his arms are moving, look how his head is still bouncing off the ground, knee is in an up position. His goal is to get that knee into that position first before you actually accelerate. Okay, and you can see how high he is off the ground right here, even for his age. This was really good. This was really fun working with him there. And we know you can do the same. Okay, so that'll do it for your vid. And um, give me a call. Contact me. Let me know if we can, um, if you have any questions or anything. And I'll, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.